What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode. In today's content, we'll be unboxing, demoing, and reviewing the Flipside Wallet and Flipside Kick attachment, and we'll also be including our rating. Now, I've been waiting a long time to review this kit that you see here because the flip side kick, which is the attachment for the wallet itself, was out of stock for an extended period of time. Now, although I was finally able to nab this kit that you see here, some of the variations are still hard to come by. For example, the wallet comes in some awesome, unique colors but most of the time they are out of stock. Now clarity and authenticity are important for the channel, which is why I wanted to mention that I paid for both the flip side wallet and the flip side kick out of my own pocket. In fact, I find them truly interesting and they had a unique coolness factor, which is why I wanted to buy them so that I could share them with you. Now, if you're watching on YouTube and are looking for more content related to this topic, you can find it on the futuristic gear and software playlist. And as always, you can find items mentioned and shown in this content at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the Flipside RFID wallet unbox. Now contents are going to include the wallet, operator's manual, and included attachment. Appearance of the wallet is slim and minimal, feeling very light. Overall composition is polycarbonate, a strong thermoplastic polymer. The unit itself does have slight flex to it, but overall feels very durable. Highlights of this modern tech include RFID shielding, automatic lock and assisted open, and crush resistance with the unit designed and manufactured in the USA. Color options include flare orange, impulse blue, mech gray, and stealth black. Now I opted for the stealth black scene here as other colorways were out of stock, but I recommend the flare orange if you are looking for a color that pops and is easy to locate. Again, the flip side features an included attachment with a band that allows you to insert thin items like a card. So let's talk function of the flip side wallet, which is true to its name. First, we have the unlock and open feature, which is performed by pressing and holding on the spring loaded tab, which flips open the spring loaded lid. Now, as for noise, there is going to be a slight amount of whistle here, but it is easy to deal with. However, if you are looking for something with a coolness factor, this device delivers. Opening the flip side wallet can be done with one of two methods, either being right side up or upside down. Right side up would be with the flip side logo showing, but can be a bit unpredictable in opening if the wallet is almost empty. Now, if you are looking for a bit more control when opening the wallet, I recommend open it upside down, meaning the flip side logo isn't showing. Once the wallet is open, we get a closer look at the internals, which include two main card slots, as well as the RFID blocking technology. Now, when it comes to inserting a card, it fits snug and securely into the card slot, and each card slot holds up to three cards. Now we also have an additional compartment within this wallet that can be accessed by flipping the bottom card slot over to the top, which is done by pulling up on its tab and flipping it over. This exposes that additional compartment. Now the top portion of the compartment will be able to hold an identification card. And as you can imagine, it slides in here smoothly and holds securely. And we also have RFID blocking technology for this card. Now on the other side of the compartment is a space for bills and we can fit up to 12 bills. And these can be installed either unfolded like you see here, or you can fold your bill over and insert it, it fits nicely into this compartment. There is a little up and down movement, but side to side movement is minimal. And you can also close this wallet with the dollar bill. It works smoothly. Now, again, I wanted to briefly return back to the method of opening this wallet. And again, I recommend opening it the upside down method. And you can see that when we open it here, our identification card will be exposed. I also recommend having your dollar bills folded over and installed like this so that the identification card can be flashed quickly. You can see that if we open this wallet right side up, which will be this way, we don't get a look at our identification card. 
Overall rating for the flip side wallet is going to be a 9 out of 10. Design weight and materials are optimal and the assisted open and automatic lock give it a high coolness factor. Next we have the flip side kick which is less of an unboxing and more of an unpackage and this is the portion of the kit that attaches to the flip side wallet. Now the flip side kick can be hard to come by. This was the part of the kit that was out of stock for an extended period of time for myself. Now contents are also simple here. First we're going to have our detachable mini lanyard, then we're going to have our operator's manual, and then we're going to have our drawer, and then the flip side kick. This attachment, like the flip side wallet, is slim, minimal, and light, and also composed mainly of polycarbonate. Now the flip side kick being thinner than the wallet of course features a bit more flex, but again it is an attachment. Now color options are limited to mech gray and stealth black and here we have the stealth black option. And again we have a drawer which does feature some flex to it but it's designed to hold items that are thin like keys or coins. So let's talk install of the flip side kick. Now before we can do so we do want to uninstall the original attachment that's on the flip side wallet and this is done by pulling up on at least two of the tabs that hold the attachment to the wallet. You can do this with your fingernails or a flathead screwdriver or a coin and as soon as you pull at least two of those tabs up and off the original attachment comes off. Now before we install the flip side kick onto this wallet, if you do plan on using the mini lanyard, you'll want to install that right now. So install of the mini lanyard is going to be simple, but first we're going to grab the flip side kick. And if you take a close look, you can see that we have a window here and a window there. We can install the mini lanyard on either one. I'm going to go with the left side here and I'm just going to fish the mini lanyard through with just a little bit of patience it'll go through the first time we're going to pull just enough until we get a good enough window and then pull the big portion through that window or through that eye and then just pull nice and tight and there we go with the install of the mini lanyard on the flip side kick now there is a specific way to install the flip side kick on the flip side wallet. I like to refer to these designs here as vents and you'll want to install the drawer side of the flip side kick onto the wallet in this orientation. Simply line up and press into place. Now before we do so I will mention that I don't have the drawer inside the flip side kick because it makes it a little easier to actually install the attachment onto the wallet without it. So press into place and we get a nice click and then we could take the drawer here and insert it and it's going to slide right into place. We've got good resistance so the drawer doesn't just slide right out and fall off. So again, this drawer here can fit keys and coins. I'm going to pull it out here just enough so we can get a good look here. And I'm going to drop some keys so we can do a demonstration. We're going to fit three in there and then push it closed. And then you can see it's got a nice clean look to it. Let's give it a little shake test. So the keys actually don't shake around in here. That is a plus as well, what I was not expecting. I like that. Now there is an interesting design that I've noticed when it comes to this drawer. And that is, you can see that we have these plastic bumps or nibs or whatever you'd like to call them. They actually have a purpose, believe it or not. You actually put the keyhole on each one and that helps secure the key in place better. So you can see that if I try to move around here, the keys are not just going to slide around in the tray. I thought that was interesting as well. Now, if you do have coins or keys installed in this drawer, of course, we did this like this with the wallet this side up, but you'd actually open the drawer with the wallet in this orientation. That way, when you pull out on the drawer, the keys are going to be on top. You can see that if we do this upside down and we pull on that drawer, 
Our keys are going to fall out onto the ground or onto the floor. We might lose them. So it's very important how you open this drawer. Now also worth mentioning, you can remove this drawer if you wish to insert some cards. So we're going to do just that. We're going to pull the drawer out and keep in mind the drawer is essentially card shaped, but we're going to take an actual card and place it in here. We have a secure fit. It feels just a little bit more loose than the other ones that are actually inside. This one isn't as snug or secure, but I don't think the card will fall out as easily. Plus when you put more cards in here, it'll also make them all more secure. But you can fit four flat cards, three raised number cards or eight business cards. Overall, the flip side kick attachment scores a little lower here with a seven out of 10. Originally, I thought this attachment allowed you to use the drawer with extended card capacity at the same time. With this attachment, you also have to remove the original attachment, which I was not expecting also. And with that, you lose the band that is included on the original attachment. This isn't a huge deal breaker, but the band is nice to have. So that is it for today's content. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you could support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.